Hi, this is Javin Kharot, a chemical engineer by profession, going to continue our today's topic, plunger pump. Not, now, what is that? A plunger pump is a type of positive displacement pump where higher pressure seal, stationary and smooth cylindrical plunger slide through the seal. This makes the difference from piston pump and allows them to be used higher pressure. This type of pump is often used to transfer municipal and industrial sewage. Piston pump and plunger pump are positive displacement pump that use plunger or piston to move media through cylindrical chamber. The plunger or piston is actuated by steam power, pneumatic, hydraulic and electric charge. Rotary piston and plunger pump use crank mechanism to create a reciprocating motion along an axis which build pressure in a cylinder or working barrel to force gas or fluid through this pump. The pressure in the chamber actuates the valve, force the suction and discharge point. The plunger pump are used in application could range 70 to 2070 bar means 1000 to 30,000 psi. Piston pump are used in lower pressure applications, the volume of fluid discharge is equal area of plunger of piston multiplied by stroke line. Overall capacity of the piston pump and plunger pump can be calculated with the area of piston or plunger, the stroke line and number of piston and plunger, their speed of drive. The power needed from the drive is proportional to the pressure and capacity of the pump. Seal are integral part of piston pump and plunger pump. To separate the power fluid from medium, that is being pump, a stuffing box and packing use, seal the joint between the vessel, there are medium is transfer and plunger or piston. A stuffing box may compose building, packing, seal ring and glass. The plunger pump component material are chosen where and contact with type of medium. The component material include bronze, brass, steel, stainless steel, iron, nickel, alloy and other material. For example, plunger pump function in general service and oil service application often have iron cylindrical and plunger. The plunger discharge valve and suction valve come in contact with the transfer medium. Material choice are based on fluid transfer in power application where continuous duty plunger pump are needed. Solid ceramic plunger may be used when in contact with water and oil but may not be compatible with the highly acidic media type. Now, what are piston and plunger pump? A piston pump is a positive displacement pump where fluid movement is created by piston. There are three types such design. They are piston plunger and rotary piston pump. What are type of piston pump? How do they work? There are three type of piston pump. Rotary piston. Now what is that? Rotary piston pump work by a piston sliding back and forth along rotor groove, drawing liquid into the inlet. The two directly driven piston move reciprocally and cylinder with a piston drawing back towards center of pump when at the pump inlet causing fluid and drawn into inlet as rotor move toward the outlet of pump and piston move along the rotor expelling liquid via the outlet. The piston pump. The piston pump operates piston pushing seal back the force with the chamber which create vacuum and pressure. The seal is disc shaped and fluid is driven through hollow cylinder known as piston manufactured from ceramic. Now piston pump have anywhere between a single piston or multiple piston. Time to operate different interval create even level of flow. Piston pump are often known 3, 5 or 7 flame pump. They are dionet number of piston present with the pump head. Plunger pump. The plunger pump are pump in which plunger slide back forth within a stuffing box, increasing and decreasing working volume. Such designs are better suited for high pressure seal 
they are stationary with pump as opposed piston design where the seal slide with hollow chamber. Now difference between piston and plunger pump, what is that? First difference, higher pressure seal reciprocate with the piston in the cylinder in piston pump. High pressure seal is stationary plunger slide through seal allowed it, the pump use higher pressure. Their difference is plunger pump. Another difference, inlet design pressure 8.5 psi and 40 psi in piston pump and inlet design pressure 60 to 70 psi means 4 to 5 bar in plunger pump. Now in piston pump best suited to short duty cycle unless a larger pump operates slowly while in plunger pump ok to continue operation when run slowly. In piston pumps inlet value are mechanically actuated plunger pump require flooded suction or higher inlet pressure supplied the booster pump. Piston pump outlet pressure near around 100 to 1200 psi means 6.9 bar to 83 bar while in plunger pump outlet pressure 100 to 10,000 psi means 6.9 bar to 700 bar. Now how efficient piston pump? Piston pump have one of the highest efficiency available being 85 to 90 percent efficient. They can be directly driven motor or driven by a V-band protected by guard eliminating requirement gearbox which can often add transmission losses. Now what are piston pump used for? Typical application for piston and plunger pump are where low flow rate of a liquid is required higher pressure within the application such as sea water through a filter for reverse osmosis or chemical injection where pipe pump is pressurized and high pressure pump is required to overcome existing line pressure. The piston pump design are positive displacement which volume dispense being proportional and proportionate to speed it means they are predictable to transfer liquid in batching and metering application. Such design are limited those handling liquid they are clean free of solid or abrasive particle which would otherwise cause internal seal and perish internal part to close not seal to suffer from the abrasion reducing the lifespan of the unit. The liquid such as fuel chemical seawater handle with such design however pump generally require a flooded suction or high low unit booster pump and not always suited application where self priming pump is required. Now some of the most application include the chemical injection, descaling of the heat exchanger or boiler tube, drilling cutting injection, fuel transfer, gas dehydration using monoethylene glycol and triethylene glycol, hydro excavation, hydro blasting, hydrostatic and pressure testing equipment, jet cleaning, wash down, plant equipment such as conveyor, bottle, cax, pellet and other process equipment, pressure washer, misting of the fluid via nozzle, fogging, the fire control and mist odor control, reverse osmosis to create a fresh water from sea water, seal plus feed pump to unserved seal, another pump remain free from the abrasive particle and clean, spray bar for coating product with fat polymer for other coating, surface treatment, hull cleaning, removal concrete from pipe and rebar as well, label, grifty, paint, rust removal, produce water re-injection. Now advantage and disadvantage of piston pump. First we look advantage. What is their advantage? Their pressure generating capability is unmatched by other design. Due to their high efficiency, substantial saving can be made against other design higher pressure pump such as pitot tube pump as design are positive displacement with fluid flow proportional to speed they are predictable in nature or transfer injection application. Design is available self priming with high suction capability as well those the acodomate viscous liquid smaller design 
They are directly driven by motor and unmatched pressure generating capability. Now it's disadvantage. They are not suited for some application. They produce pulsating flow, which can address some of extent by utilization pulsation damping. Piston pump requires larger investment and can be expensive way to transfer liquid. As they are limited to clean liquid, there are many other designs of pump to rule out. First, they are far more economical as well as easier to maintain. Part can expensive due to their high precision and compact nature. Unit are time consuming, maintain some of design having high quantity internal part making troubleshooting difficult and consuming which can lead to replacement many internal part which root causes issue is non maintenance often require experienced person. Additional accessories may require most of the pump such as pressure, regulating valve, relief valve, pulses and dampener, further complicating pump setup requirement. Install unit can be taken up large amount of space capability when driven by a big bed. Unit are bulky in nature, they are motor situated alongside with the pump head instead of in line as common with the other design. Now, some of the short questions. What type of oil use I for quick test? <clears throat> Kate pump have developed their one special formula, Kate oil and other non-food grade pump. This hydraulic oil contains additives such as anti wear stabilizer and anti-corrosion technology. The additive provides further lubrication to the crankcase that is not provided by standard oil. Now supply this oil in various container sites using alternative oil may lead to some more frequent oil changes being required and premature wear a crankcase component. Now how do I know pulsation dampener is required for my application? Pulsation dampener reduce pulsation in pipe work downstream from the pump. It is typical required system sensitive pulsation required a smooth flow such hydrostatic testing or reverse osmosis. Now, pulses and dampener actuate have additional benefit like reducing vibration, pipe pot, extending life of component downstream from the pump, such regulating valve by reducing pulses and vibration, the risk of water hammer significant reduce and operator experience less fatigue using hand operated nozzle. Now, do I need unloader valve and regulate valve in my system out of recordomentation is have both unloaded and regulated valve. Have secondary relief valve. A regulating valve is prime protection for the pump and operator. This regulate pressure to the required amount of the system. Unloaded valve relieve pressure and protect the pump and operate during nozzle application. Unloaded valve will open relieve and exhaust pressure when nozzle is closed, the further relief valve should be installed as last life depends in case of regulator, unloader, valve fail to operate, the relief valve typically set around 200 to 300 psi about the unloader regular set pressure. Okay guys, this is up to our today's topic, plunger pump. I hope you get sufficient knowledge after watching this video next Sunday. We have covered some and other chemical engineering topics. Till then, goodbye. Do take good care of yourself.